This is the Journey 42E for 2017 by Winnebago. Based upon a Freightliner dropped rail chassis, coupled with Winnebago's Maxim chassis structure, an E-coated structure which provides us the industry-leading storage and the best ride and handling. At the front, a manual generator slide. You can pull out the Onan 8000X generator. 55 degree wheel cut, dual fuel fill. You have six different full body paint packages available. Electric awning with motion sensor and LED light strips. You can see that massive pull out storage tray. At the front, you can see a heat duct dumped it down there. You can see that's the kicker box for the outside sound system. Do you have a sound bar underneath the TV? All you have to do is plug that box in. Some more storage. Those are actually the ottomans that go inside. One of the few options on the motorhome is the outside refrigerator. This is access to the residential refrigerator inside where you could drain the ice maker whenever you go to winterize the motorhome. Small bin back here would be ideal for carrying the ladder extension. You can see the moisture on the ground. That is for the condensation pumps. All three air conditioners pump condensation. An 8.9 liter, 450 horse Cummins diesel engine with the six-speed Allison transmission. A 15,000 pound towing capacity with the 1,500 pound hitch load. This is kind of the business side of the motorhome where the chassis batteries are. You can see two remote charging posts. Those are for the house batteries, which I'll show you here in a minute. Some resettable breakers as well as the DEF tank. Central utility compartment features a water pump switch, a leveling switch, and a whole coach water filter. The Journey 42E now features the AquaHot 400, so it is an all-electric motorhome. Underneath that central hatch, that's where the six AGM house batteries reside. Out of the way, they don't need maintenance or anything. The grill bottle is just that. It's for a LP outlet on the other side of the coach. If you didn't want any propane, you just leave it at home. There is no propane inside the motorhome. There's just an outlet on the other side. If you want to hook your barbecue grill or on a cool day, maybe a heater. As we come up inside, you'll notice a bit darker dash than what you've seen in the past. Across the front, you have powered day-night shades. In travel, they come about a third of the way down. On the sides, you have manual MCD night and daytime shades. Split monitors. One can be the camera. The other can be the Rand McNally navigation system. Also your radio. Both driver and passenger seats will swivel. That's our new easy turn. That seat will actually swivel all the way around. Passenger seat is optioned with the flip-up tray table. The front is the matrix system, which controls all of your TVs. Great look on the inside of the motorhome. This is our rest easy sofa, which when we're in travel mode can actually recline as well. Simple touch of a button, it's electric reclining. Then once we're set up, it has a manual footrest which you can pull out. This whole area will also lay flat so you could use it as a secondary sleeping location on the motorhome as well. Large TV, this actually has a little release up here to the left. TV will swing off, there's some storage back behind here. Also see the sound bar for the front entertainment. Recliner, there is also a pull out side table. When you pull this table out, it would be a great place to set like your iPad or laptop or just if you need a place to set a drink or while you're watching TV. You have multiple choices for interior fabrics as well as wood. Light, medium, dark. Tons of choices available. This is our Glide and Dine. There's two additional wooden folding chairs that go there. I simply pull the little black knob out and the table will move left to right. 
In addition, you can pull it out. There's a leaf somewhere in the motor home, probably back in the back. So it'll go left to right. It'll also add a leaf to expand it, pull out work area, induction cooktop, residential convection, microwave, plenty of room, high polish, Corian galley countertops, multiplex wiring, which means we can dim all the lights. Simply punch it, hold it, hold the button down, it'll dim down, take your finger off, it'll come back up. The half bath in the central part of the motor home, residential refrigerator, plenty of pantry space. Simply pulls out, these are adjustable, there's upper and lower for this, great storage space. Opposite of this area will be the one place, that's where we've centralized all of the controls for, for air conditioners, heaters, aqua hot, block heater, automatic generator start, inverter are all contained in the central part of the motorhome. Our ideal rest sleep system, air adjustable bed, two different controls, one for each side. TV flips up, there's storage there, a bank of drawers, there's closets either side. You can also remove that bottom shelf if you needed full length hanging, you can just set it on the bottom. There's a button over here to raise the head of the bed. There's also one that if you're laying in bed and you look up at the bottom of the cabinet, there's a button there to raise the head of the bed as well if you want to watch TV. Now, when we get ready to close up and go into travel mode, the bed does have to be raised all the way up on this coach. Once that happens, then we can start bringing the slide rooms in and preparing for travel. Look at the bathroom back in the back. On the left, we'll see the stackable Whirlpool washer dryer, toilet, still seeing the quarry on tops with the tile backsplash, shower on the other side, plenty of room in the bathroom on this motorhome. Has a great look, nice good sized shower. This has been the 42E Journey by Winnebago Industries.